Welcome back to Auto Magazine and welcome to Misano Adriatico, the circular Misano near Rimini on the Adriatic coast of Italy. Rimini well known for its beautiful beaches. The Santa Monica circuit generally used for motorcycle and truck racing. Many of the drivers in the Clio Cup and the V6 Clio Trophy will never have come across it before. Even a large number of the Italian drivers have never raced it. Well, away from the beaches and their very obvious attractions, what about this Santa Monica circuit? What's the best way to learn your way round the track? For me, says Leonardo Saban, the secret is to go flat out right from the start. If you learn too slowly, then you take too long to find the pace afterwards. Not everybody agrees with that uh, method. Arno Dupre, for instance, says that the best way is to take it easy in the first practice session, get to learn the track a little bit, memorize it, and uh, then sit down and think about it, find the right gear change and braking points and so on. It's not easy. An advantage perhaps here then for the Italian drivers? Well, maybe, maybe not, but they can certainly talk about it between themselves. Maurizio Campani says you find uh, groups of people where you can uh, get some useful hints and others where it's better off ignoring everything they tell you. Everywhere somebody go faster because they know the secrets. Uh, for us, for Greek driver, we are two, me and uh, Vasilis. It's not uh, fair because we don't have a race in Greece. I hope next year uh, maybe we have one race in Greece. We try to make this. My name is Rick Pearson. I'm a driver in the Clio Trophy V6 you see behind you. Um, I'm going to take you around the circuit, quick onboard lap. Come with me and uh, I'll show you the important points on the lap. Mizano corner, down here in fifth. At the 50 meter board, we hit fourth, third. Turn it in, hold it into the apex, feed it on, get right out onto the exit kerb. Fourth gear immediately, and then power hard on through this little kink and down into the Caro corner, which is critical for the next straight. Down to second gear, very late apex, again trying to get all the power on early, using all the exit kerb, and then we're just straight up through the gearbox, all the way to maximum speed in these V6s, which is getting on for 250Ks. Down into the uh, Tremonto corner at the end here. So there we are, braking hard. Gear, gear, gear. Trying to get back to the apex. Cars bouncing around the bumps, a little slide. Little side, it's oh, unsettled it there. Third, fourth gear immediately. And we're running up to the arena chicane. Again, braking hard at 50 meters, down one cog. Get the inside kerb, power on hard now. Outside kerb, big slide again, out to the exit kerb. Down to the Parco chicane. A little bit of grass there. Snatch fourth, back to third. Slowly through the right hand, a little bit of a drift. Get it, power rider, hard on, try and end this lap here at Mazzano Circuit. There we go. Well, a nice tight twisty track with plenty of high speed to keep the drivers busy. Sunday, 2.30 p.m., 16 laps and 43 degrees of ground temperature. Pole man is Pierre Cortals, and as they head away from the start, he holds the lead. This is his onboard camera. Luca Sciegi right behind him. And plenty of battling further on as well. Well, into the first couple of corners. And Pierre Cortals heading the field. These feisty V6 uh, trophy cars with plenty of power to slide around and spin up the wheels. But all too soon, Courthouse is off the road. Well, I locked the wheels, he said, and went off into the sand trap, and uh, Skeji came in behind me. We didn't see uh, oil on the track, and, uh, well, the others behind us, they saw that we'd gone off, so they were able to brake early, and they were all right, they got through. Alessandro Baltzan, then the man who was first to benefit from that, and Baltzan, finding that uh, he had a clear road ahead of him, surprised. But that didn't stop him running on to victory. 
Oh, I'm uh, very happy, among other things, he says. Uh, this is my first win in a car race. I won a few kart races, but now I've broken the ice. And uh, I have to say, I hope that I'll be able to continue. Well, Balsan uh, waving the pirate flag on the podium, his team's uh, emblem. Giuseppe Ciro and Mauricio Campani also on the podium at Mizzano. So that's the way they finished in the race. Cortals rejoining in the end and struggling back up to fourth place. Loses the championship lead though as Alessandro Balsan goes to the top of the points. Racing on the same bill is the Clio Trophy. 32 cars, 19 laps, and at the head of the field, Jerome Policon, the pole position man. Alongside him, Anthony Beltoise and Luca Rangoni. And they will have a rolling start in these V6 engined monsters. This is Postiglione, the onboard camera, running up to the start. Jerome Policon holds the lead into the first corner. And uh, Policon, Rangoni and Beltoise. They are the top three as Postiglione battles inside the top ten around Mizzano. Takes a nice inside line there to pick up a spot. And again, hugging the inside all the way down the back straight. So Jerome Policon then with Luca Rangoni and... Uh, Beltoise, Luc Beltoise in third place, but uh, further back, a big crash into the wall. And again, Postiglione showing us just how tight things are. Well, Vito Postiglione racing in the Renault Spider Championship for a number of years, very experienced and thoroughly enjoying himself, clearly as Policon motors on ahead of Beltoise. Well, I uh, had to uh, chase after going off and uh, caught Luca and Anthony. I'm still a little way off the pace, but uh, I think the championship will now be played out between the three, three of us. And Anthony, of course, is uh, Anthony Beltoise. At the start of the race, he said I was able to stay with Jerome. I wasn't any faster, I wasn't any slower, but uh, being behind him, uh, the radiators weren't working, the water temperature really rose, and I had to drop back and then halfway through I lost my clutch. So Poly Policon winning from Beltoise to Luca Rangoni in third place ahead of Filippo Mancini and in the championship and that means that uh, Anthony Beltoise is still the series leader but by only three points from Jerome Policon with Rangoni in third place uh, nearly 20 points adrift. So certainly those three look to have a stranglehold on the overall results. But will it be Policond or will it be Beltoise?